Hey, well back, welcome back to Mount Pleasant Farm. Um, I just figured I'd sit here and uh, do a quick update video for you. I'm sitting on the back porch having a beer. Been uh, working outside since I got off of work today, and it's hot, man. Like, like so many places, you know, out there right now, it is hot. I mean, it is. You know, it's it's like 100 degrees with a heat index of 100 and whatever, and you know the cicadas are are screeching and. Um, you know, I've got mowing to do. I, I mowed today, um, finished up the mowing, so the, the mower finally got fixed and got back because I threw a belt on it the other day. I couldn't get it on myself. But um, anyway, I just wanted to let you all know that I am still here and I'm still um, going to make some videos. I've been doing a lot of shorts because uh, I've been super busy, super busy with, um, I don't know, just everything. Had a couple trips out of state. Had a work trip out of state. Had a had a couple, uh, you know, personal trips out of state. Been busy, you know. And then you come back here, and the you know the property needs work. The grass needs to be mowed, and you know I've still got um, <laughs> I have got two out of my three you know firewood areas are empty. I still need to cut firewood. I still need to cut firewood, split firewood, so we can get a chance to dry a little bit before we start burning in October, November. Um, I just feel really behind. I've got a huge black locust that fell down um, way back, way back over there, beyond the cottage, way in the woods over there. I've got a uh, huge black locust that will certainly fulfill our firewood needs for the entire year. Um, that'll, you know, we do about three cords, three to four cords a year and um, I just need to get over there with the tractor and I need to clear that because I can't work in there it's like you know the weeds are like up to here on me and um, I just I need to get in there with the brush hog and the tractor and and push you know push some logs out of the way and clean some stuff up and um, so I can get in there and actually work with the chainsaw and cut this thing up it is enormous and I'll do a video on that I've got some videos coming up you know I own a, a, a Ram power wagon a 2018 power wagon and I've got I've got a few videos coming on that and uh, sorry I'm rocking in this uh, in this rocker I'm sitting in I'm sitting out here in the back porch by myself you can probably hear the the road a little bit you can probably hear the tree frogs going and the cicadas going um, but I do have some videos coming just so you know I'm not being uh, well I'm kind of being lazy but I'm trying to keep the content coming with shorts because it's kind of easy you know to get um, you know to get some content out there if something dumb happens or I see a snake out here or, you know, whatever, um, I'm mowing at the hunt club, I can do a quick short. It's just so you know I'm still here. But um, it can it can be difficult to get content out when you are super busy. I seem to get more videos out when it's, uh, like, wintertime and I, I don't need, you know, to do lawn work. My, my outdoor work in the summertime is, it's tough. You know, we have the, the main parcel is seven and a half acres, and uh, it's a lot of lawn. And it's a lot of mowing, and it's um, it's a pain in the butt to be perfectly honest. Um, so I try to, you know, it's it takes a lot out of me to do all that, and then to think about making a video, I'm just like, dude, I can't do it. But um, it's coming. I've got I've got some ideas coming up here. Like I said, I've got some stuff to do on the on the power wagon and on the uh, on the Durango again. And those are some of my my best videos are the ones that are the automotive stuff and the cooking stuff. So I may do a cooking one coming up here as well. But you know we've got a lot of wood cutting coming up. We got a lot of log splitting coming up. Firewood stuff, fireplace stuff. Because you know what, guys? Before you know it, it's going to be cold again, and we're all going to be burning wood. We're all going to be hunting and everything else. So that's where a lot of my content comes from. Um, I plan on getting out there and getting a, getting a few deer again this year, and you'll be along with that hopefully. And um, just the regular stuff. I just wanted you to know that uh, I'm still here. I'm still making videos. I'm still. Uh, I'm still active on YouTube. I just uh, have not put out any what I would consider to be good, you know, long-form videos that people like to watch. It's coming, I promise. It is coming, I promise. Um, right now, it's just it's the end of the day, and I figured I'd, you know, do a little little short here. Or not a short, but a, you know, long-form video to just talk to you about kind of, you know, what's going on around here. It's just been super hot and doing a lot of work outside. So, um, anyway... In the meantime, I would like you to, you know, maybe shoot this to your friends, and if they like this kind of stuff, to have them go ahead and subscribe. Um, 
we have uh, we finally got monetized here, so we're making a little bit of money. You know, you're, nobody's getting rich on YouTube unless they're really killing it. You know what I mean? So it's not like it's not like I'm getting rich on YouTube, but we do have a little little money coming in. Um, I know I still haven't made like a channel, um, you know, like a badge or anything like that. I need to. My daughter is an extremely talented artist, and she could probably whip up something on the computer for me in five minutes that I would be totally happy with to be like the Mount Pleasant Farm badge. Um, you know, everybody's got them in the, you know, in the, in the lower left or upper right corner of their videos to show, uh, you know, like their little symbol for their, their farm or their channel or whatever. So, um, it's coming, I guess I'm growing slow, but that's, that's cool. You know, um, I like talking to folks. I like, um, I'm, I'm big into physical fitness. I don't know if any of you guys know that, but and I'm 54 years old. If anybody is interested, I've, I've kind of, you know, thought about, um, you know, do I need to do like an older guy's physical fitness channel? Because, um, you know, I, I would have an easy time doing that because, I mean, as much as I work out, I would have tons of content. So please comment below if you're interested in, you know, I would do like a it would be like a Scott's Fitness. Because that's my name, Scott. I don't know if you guys know that. My name's Scott. Um, you know, Scott's Fitness or something simple like that. For older dudes, um, I could definitely keep you all kind of pointing in the right direction. I've been literally working out since I was 14 years old. Um, on and off. I've been a fat kid when I was when I was young. Um, I worked my way out of that. I wrestled in high school. Um, and I've been literally, you know, running and lifting and doing like mud runs and mountain runs for years years i just love it. it makes me feel good i try i try to eat okay i do i do drink beer i do drink a little bourbon now and then which you know you gotta live too right so um if you think that would be an interesting subject if you'd be at all interested in watching that say something in the comments below i will totally throw out some men's fitness stuff easy easy day i got i've got so much of that it would be crazy i could do like a daily workout or you know weekly workout or whatever um Sorry for moving the, the, this is my phone, so sorry for moving the phone around so much. It is hot, I'm sweating like a maniac, um, but I do have a cold beer, my, my favorite, Yingling, Yingling Light or Yingling Lager, it doesn't matter. It's Yingling, it's the oldest brewery in the country, so it's always my favorite. But, um, I did one of these update videos a long time ago, and it's gotten like, I was surprised, it got like 117 views, um, which is not a lot, but that's when I, I did that when the channel was extremely young, extremely young. So, um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to throw this out there and see how it does. Um, because I think a lot of people like, I, I don't know, a lot of people seem to like listening to somebody talk. And I've had a lot of people say, hey, I'm not really here for the content, but I like how you say things and I like how you talk. Um, I have actually considered, um, and this is kind of crazy, but. I've actually considered doing like a podcast on here, like a Mount Pleasant Farm podcast. And it would be, you know, the same kind of content that I do. Outdoor stuff, hunting, hiking, fishing, camping, whatever. And of course, you know, our little farm here, chickens and whatever. Um, but it would be a podcast talking about that kind of stuff. I've got a lot of friends who do this kind of stuff. I've got a lot of friends I hunt with, obviously. I've got some uh, very accomplished hunters in our hunting club guys who have a wealth of information in their in their brain housing group up here that could really pass some great stuff on to you and i've got stuff all over me from weed whacking i'm a mess i'm a sweaty mess but i'm sitting out here drinking some beer cooling off and trying to talk to y'all um so if you think that'd be interesting a podcast or maybe a fitness thing please let me know i'll either do it on this channel or i'll make a separate channel and you guys can all jump on that um Anyway, I won't bore you to death. I know uh, this is not exciting. It's just a chit chat. I'm sitting on the back on the back porch. It is getting darker and darker. There's our we, that's full of wood. At least we do have that. That's full of wood. Um, <laughs> I wish I could I can turn around. You can see out there we've got. Um, hold on. So if you look out there, there's three bays to my wood rack. That one's full. That one's empty. And that one's got some in it. This is all a cord and a half of wood, basically. And then I've got another third of a cord right there. Um, so, I mean, we've got some wood, but, you know, I don't, I don't like to be short on wood because there's nothing worse than trying to, you know, catch up on, you know, wood cutting, like, in the winter when you're going to freeze to death. 
We um, don't get me wrong. We've got regular heat here. We've got oil heat and a heat pump, but I don't like to use it. The house is 200 years old. This old house here you see me sitting in front of, it's 200 years old, and we've got a fireplace, 68,000 BTU fireplace insert with a blower, and um, if we do things right, our electric bill stays like below $200 all winter. And this is a huge house. It's like it's like between four and five thousand square feet, four bedrooms, four baths, and then we've got the uh, guest cottage over there. So. Anyway, it's a big place out here. It is in the historical register. It was an ordinary at one time, you know, and I, I still, I've still got videos I want to do in the house. I want to do like a walkthrough of this house. It's, it's a hundred and whatever. I, I don't, I can't do math right now. 1832 is the build date of this house. So however long that is 190 something years old, um, it's old and it's got all kinds of history and it's really cool. And I want to do some videos on it. So I think I'm getting ready to I think my phone's getting ready to die. It's been going all day pretty much. So I'm going to let you all go. I appreciate you tuning in if you did and listening to me drone on about like blah, 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 blah. Nothing pretty much. But, um, you know, all 1,300 of, 1300 of you subscribers, I hope you look at this. I hope you looked at this and said, hey, there's the guy. I'm going to listen to what this guy has to say. And, uh, you know, maybe you liked it, maybe you didn't. Um, the breeze is kicking up. I'm hoping we might get a little bit of a thunderstorm or something in here the moon is out though so it's it's clear um anyway like i always say um please like please subscribe please share with your friends if you think they would like it i mean don't share with your friends if they're like don't like outdoor stuff because it's not gonna you know they don't care but you know like-minded individuals you know you know conservative kind of farming hunting outdoorsy kind of folks guns whatever fishing it's all it's all here man so Share with your friends if you think they'd like it. And uh, like I always say, you know, if you if you got something you're doing, you know, you got to get after it, man. If, you, if there's something you want to do, don't sit around and wait for it to happen. It's not going to happen itself. It's you got to get after it and make it happen. So like I always say, you know, like, subscribe, share with your friends. And as always, keep getting after it. We'll see you all soon.